Uh, so what's next for, uh, for the bill book and the work that we're doing? Well, one of the things I hope is that the principles behind Time Management 2.0 start to reveal themselves in the world. The idea is that we all have a time management system that we develop when we're in our teens and early 20s. That at some point in time in our life, the occasion comes when we need to do an upgrade. That what we've taught ourselves isn't quite good enough. We start to experience stress. What's needed then is an upgrade. And the best way to do an upgrade is not to try to pick up a whole bunch of new behaviors, but instead to start with the behaviors you're currently doing. Examine them for flaws. Set your own goals for improvement. Borrow from wherever you can other new behaviors, work class, um, from friends, from books, programs, wherever. And then um, bring them all to create some goals for yourself so that you can translate those goals into a plan, an achievable plan that has baby steps. And then get the support that you need to implement habits over time. So those core principles are ones that I, I am hoping will become commonplace. There'll be any number of methodologies for implementing them, but it's the way that the research is headed. Research not necessarily in time management, but in sociology, psychology, industrial engineering, behavioral sciences. They're all sort of saying the same things, but they're not saying them with respect to time management. So my hope is that time management gets infused with these ideas. Really, all I've done is just to assemble them into a package, apply them to time management, and then basically write a story about how one guy is implementing them without really knowing where they're coming from.